You smoke a lot of marijuana. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. Not a lot, but a, not a lot, but enough. How often do you smoke these days? I smoke a lot. Only because I feel like I don't know. It just it just put me in a different place. Marijuana can do different things for different people. Right. That's what it does for you? Puts you in a different place? I mean, it put me in a different place as far as, like, I feel like marijuana, like, reveals yourself to you. Mm. And I could be wrong, but I know that, I know that this happens because, like, you ever, do you smoke? Me personally, no. Okay, but I'm sure you saw somebody who might have smoked before and it's like they just zone out and they be thinking. That be them revealing themselves to themselves. <laughs> They be thinking about what they can do to either better their situation or change some in their life. Like, I don't know. I see. Yeah. Is it just marijuana you smoke or you smoke anything else? No, weed is all I need. Uh, some people I see will do cigarettes and weed. Hell no, I don't do cigarettes. Okay. I get upset somebody smoke a cigarette around me. Is it a favorite strain you enjoy? Hmm. There's a lot of different strains, a lot of different names out there. Yes, I love gelato, and I like sherbet, and I like cookies. I like, <laughs> I like a lot of them. Why those in particular? Because they give you a mellow high. They don't make you sleepy. They don't make you, like, paranoid. You're like mellow high, because the highs are different. How do you smoke it? Um, either in a bong, in papers, or in Dutch Master Green Leaf. Do you remember the first time you ever smoked marijuana? <laughs> yes. Can you take us back to that time? Can you paint that picture, like maybe what age you were or where you were at? Or yes, it was it actually a couple years ago, and I was at the studio. I had been recording, and I kind of, I could not, like, I couldn't, I had, like, writer's block so bad. So I went to the front of the studio, and the girl who was running the studio, she was in the front, and she was saying she was about to go outside and smoke. So she asked me if I smoke. I'm like, no. She was like, okay, well, just come outside. We can talk outside because I got because we had to smoke outside. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go outside, and I don't know. We were just talking. We were like in deep conversation. And I was like, let me hit it, and I hit it, and it's like I've been smoking ever since. <laughs> Would you say you were influenced? Was it peer pressure? Was it curiosity? Well, my daddy smoked weed. My daddy been smoking weed all his for forever for my whole life so it wasn't peer pressure I always knew what it was I always knew like it kind of like made you just like chill out but I think I was thinking too much about the songs I was trying I was trying to write so I just kind of did it because I kind of felt like it might help me and it did kind of curious if you had a father that smoked throughout your life why you didn't pick it up any earlier in your life because it wasn't allowed uh, it was like, a, he made it like, oh, it's a bad thing, it's a bad thing, it's a bad thing. But then as I got older and I learned what it really was, I'm like, first of all, <laughs> it's not bad like you, say, like you say it is. Now, that first time you smoked marijuana, do you remember what strain that was you actually had smoked? Yep, it was Kush. And some people, when they smoke for the first time, they don't actually get high. Did mm -hmm. you get high the first time you smoked? I did. I got so high. And it was a good experience. It was a good experience. I think if I probably would have been like in another kind of setting, it wouldn't have been. But like, I think getting high and listening to music kind of go hand in hand. Like it kind of like opened up this vessel of just like feeling like you feel everything, every note, every word, you hear everything. So. When your dad found out you started smoking, what did he think? Slap me up. <laughs> I was a, I was an adult. I didn't start smoking until I was 23. Very late. Yeah. So he was just like, you know, back me up. Me and my dad are like this, just like my dog. That's why I was just so just curious why you started so late. Like, yeah. Why not 18? Why not 21? 23 just seems so. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it's late, but it's like now that I've started, I can't stop. <laughs> and you actually smoke with them. Mm -hmm, my dad. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes I do. What's that experience like? Smoking with pops. 
it's cool. I love my daddy. Like I said, like we have a good relationship, so we could talk about anything. And like, I don't know, like just like I'm sitting here talking to you, like me and my dad, we smoke, we talk about everything. So was cool. he surprised to find out that you were smoking or was it like eventually I knew you would do it? Yeah, he kind of laughed about it. Like maybe you should have done it. Maybe he figured you would have tried it earlier. <laughs> right, because he always said everything. Like when he first found out, I remember I'll never forget it. He was like, everything and everybody deserved to get hot. And I'm like, <laughs> I totally understand. I totally get it. Mom doesn't smoke? No, she hates it. She does. What did she think when she found out you started smoking? I need to stop. You need mm -hmm. to stop smoking. Stop smoking. Your boy, stop smoking. <laughs> now, interesting thing is, we talked in a previous segment about your dating life and that sort of thing, and you said that your parents have been married forever. Mm -hmm. how My long whole have life. You, how long do you think they've been married for at this point? I don't even know. Cause 10 years, together. 20 years, 30 years? The, probably a good... 30-something years? I don't know. Okay, let's know. just say 30 years. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy that your mom gets along with a smoker. Yeah, yes. 30 years. Yes. <laughs> Is that ever a deal breaker for you when it comes to men, like you being a smoker? Maybe you met somebody that you really like or you get cool with, but they don't smoke. No, it isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but it's kind of a deal breaker. I wouldn't talk to a guy who doesn't understand music because I meet people, guys, sometimes who like, oh, I don't listen to this kind of music or, you know what I mean? It's like, how you not like music? That's a deal breaker. But weed is just like, okay, if you don't, you don't. But if I still rock with you, then we can work around it. I just won't smoke around you. <laughs> <laughs> that can get old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of crazy how your mom's been able to put up with it for 30 years. Yep. They love each other. Now, you get high for the first time, smoke for the first time at 23, haven't stopped since. Would you say you're addicted to it or not? I'm not addicted to it. I can stop. I just, you know, I don't smoke every single day. Like, I do, but I don't. Like, sometimes I smoke and then, like, sometimes I could wake up, I could smoke, and I don't smoke for the rest of the day. Hmm. Sometimes I could smoke, not at all. I won't smoke at all. Like, today, I haven't smoked at all because I knew I had to do this. Hmm. You know. Even though we would be in a conversation, you didn't want to get that deep? Smoke and... No, no, no. We would be in a conversation, but, like, my answers would be really, like, you know, I'm the type, when I smoke, I just like to sit back, listen to beats, make songs, and listen to music. I, like, be really, really ah. chill, so... I see. Yeah. So you wouldn't be as engaged. I would be engaged, but my answers would be a whole lot more. Like, I'll be all into life uh, <laughs> and everything. Aliens, all type of shit if I was high. <laughs> Longest you think you went without weed since you've started smoking? Hmm. Ever thought about it? Probably. I've been without it probably a month, a month and a half. would probably be like the longest. Was that on purpose? Mm -hmm. Or it just so happened to be like that? Just so happened to be like that. Ever tried to quit? Or no need to quit? No need to quit. I had a concert and I actually quit for like a little while before I started. Because I needed my voice to be all the way good. Mm. Through the... Which is another thing, right? You're a singer. Mm -hmm. Smoking. Mm -hmm. Need your lungs. Need your voice. <laughs> yeah. um, is that a no-no? I mean, it don't affect me. I have my remedies. So, you know, I think if you, like I said, I've been singing all my life. So for the most part, I know how to like train my voice. Mm. And there's certain things I do to keep it intact. You know what I mean? Marijuana can be an expensive habit for some. Mm -hmm. Ever thought how much you ever spend on it on a monthly basis? I don't buy weed. <laughs> Get it for free. Yep. Just got it like that. I just have, like, one of my friends, her boyfriend is, like, you know, the gas house cookies. Her boyfriend is incorporated with that, so I get it from her, or I get it from, you know, other, my guy friend, you know what I mean? So. Must be nice. And I'm always at the studio, so I always get free weed anyway, just being in the studio with people who smoke, too. You ever think it's your looks? Pretty girl. <laughs> so you no. get free weed. I think it's my personality too. 
Because I always wondered that. Uh, do pretty girls get, I mean, you don't really have to spend money on it, like you said, but maybe there were times when you did have to spend money on it. Did you ever get like a pretty girl discount? Like, Hell no, you think all oh, that money? <laughs> no, ain't no pretty girl discount. They want all that money. 